Being able to vote is a privilege. Not everybody gets to vote in the world. So Thank you. Next round. Asian American for me is a term that was born out of social justice. And it is a term that is both a census term, it's the box you're supposed to mark when people ask about race and ethnicity, but for the things that I do and believe in, both professionally and personally, Asian American is a term that is meant to signal a political affiliation with social justice and intersectionality. The roots of the term Asian American was born out of fighting oppression in the 1960s and early 1970s. The fact that Asian Americans are feeling that they have a right to vote, that they want to exercise their civic duty to vote, feels really encouraging to me. We are the fastest growing racial population in the nation. We need to make sure that every AAPI person gets out there and exercises their voice at the ballot box. Asian American is a really imperfect term in many ways. The reason it's imperfect is that it's flattening. So for me to say I'm Asian American is an affiliation with people whose ancestors came from Bangladesh, from Tibet, from Japan, from the Philippines, from Samoa. I do think that a first generation immigrant coming from China or Vietnam may have a very different attitude about communism, especially if they were refugees from communist China, communist Vietnam. And that in their memories of what surviving those various regimes and journeys were like, that again, might propel them into a certain type of politics that would be more conservative. Made America great again! Asian American Pacific Islander, I think one of the things that we share is the ways that we have been othered, in particular as people with roots from Asia and the Pacific Islands. So there's a way that racism has impacted those of us who affiliate with Asian American in very similar ways. Once you experience U.S. racism as an Asian American person, it's really hard not to start to get politicized around these issues and to understand that there is a way in which you are being oppressed and you face racism, and if you're a woman or if you're LGBTQ+, all of those things are compounded intersectionally. And so I think it's no surprise to me to see that second generation, third generation, one and a half generation Asian American students and young adults vote Democrat. I mean, when we first came here, I remember being spit on by the kids in school because we were different. So, so I don't, I don't, I don't understand why people of color support the Republicans. I remember vividly what it was like for me to vote for the first time, and I felt a rush of excitement. And I imagine that that is tenfold for someone who's gone to the trouble to immigrate to the United States or fled and was a refugee to the United States and went through the process to become naturalized, which is a very difficult and long process. And so to be able to cast a first vote in an election, especially a presidential election, where their voice in some small way gets to be heard in the electoral process, I mean, that seems overwhelming to be able to feel like you have a small hand in making democracy possible. Wu Jing's message is to tell Chinese people that you can't think that you can't vote.